TGIM. Hey, Tim and Joel. Lovely, lovely. I've got a bit of monday itis TGIM. Hanging out with friends. Welcome to Monday, guys. Why can't it be Monday every day? Best day ever. Yeah, hallelujah. Monday, Monday, Monday. Welcome to it. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you, both of you. But Ricky Lee, I mean, this I is a Come huge. On. Oh, this is a huge Monday. Thank you. I'm very excited. Idol starts tonight. Australian Idol is back in under it's three hours. Back. I know it's so exciting. And thank I'm, you so much, Joel, for the beautiful flowers. You're so very oh, kind. You're welcome, very gorgeous. Nice I'm just you. thrilled to have Australian Idol back on television. I like know, me too. my. I should have when I did um, what was that show I did where I did the Harry Potter nerdy questions? Oh, I uh, show me the movie. Yes. Yeah, oh. no. <laughs> no, mastermind. I should have done my mastermind topic as Australian Idol. Well, do you re- you reckon you're that well versed in Idol history and all okay, things yeah. Australian Idol? Can you maybe, Your season. Can you maybe yeah. come up with a question that only you will know the end? Well, a very come up with a question. It doesn't have to be next, but okay. before the end of the show. Okay. That. Is like a very like you have to be kind of Mensa level Australian Idol. Yeah, like D. Yeah, okay, bring it on. Okay, I'll we'll have a good, I'll have a think. Yes. Joel did what he always does, and what we worked out, which I'm really glad that we worked <laughs> this out, is you did your role and I did mine with the flowers. <laughs> oh yes. Yes. <laughs> which is of course you buying the flowers and me not. Because even and you as Ricky saying, said, did you pull my Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Because even as Ricky I said, know. it would be weird if you got me flowers. And I'm like, exactly, that's my role. Um, I have to say, though, that um, that music, I haven't heard that on the show yet, the idol music, because we haven't done any of the live shows. Yeah. I am sweating. This Do you makes feel like me you're nervous. getting eliminated again? Yes. But now, instead of standing side, side stage waiting to go on, on with my microphone ready to sing and scared of, yeah. you know, Australia not voting for me, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, I have to walk on and be the one that introduces the whole thing. Nah, 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 so nah, 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 nah. Oh, it's I'll, huge, babe. I'll play to trigger you, as everyone says. <laughs> yeah. Trigger you. Oh, I'm so triggered. Kate, Tim and Joel. I, I feel like the year has finally started for two reasons. We're about to give away something. Yep. Yeah. And our executive producer has finished her Thailand holiday. Yay, yeah, welcome back, Brian. <laughs> She's tanned. Good yeah. to see you, Joel. Been, what have you been bitten by? Like um, grass flies or something? Oh, or? the travel bug? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sand fly. A sand uh, fly. Oh. <laughs> Your trip looked nice, though. Lots uh, of snorkelling, I saw. Yes. Lots yeah. of snorkelling. Yeah, beautiful. Lots of not being at work. Um, <laughs> that's the point of a holiday, <laughs> being as far away from you. Yeah, that's right. Oh, there she is. Hi, Brad. I noticed, hang on, Gemma's not in the booth. Yeah. Is she off now? Is Where she? Is Gem? No, is Gemma in Vietnam? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with our Gemma, team? Gemma's, I think Gemma's in Melbourne, isn't she? Yeah. Oh, she's oh, back in Melbourne. Hi, Gem. On oh, yeah, the train. Hey, Perth. Hey, um, in Perth. and the giveaway bit of my tease was after five o'clock, we give it away free for 23. The giveaway, thanks to Liberty Loans for Free Thinkers. Get ahead in 2023 and free think your dream home, car, or holiday with Liberty today. Eligibility, 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 <laughs> eligibility, and conditions apply. Oh, oh, we're giving that away. Easy for you to say. Eligibility. Um, dum, like, dum, we dum, love dumb dumb moments. Dum, dum. I mean, you've kind of already had one with your pen. I stuff. know. I just was trying to get a pen out of my bag for ten minutes straight, and I was I would take it out, and then I'd put it on the desk, and then I'd put it back in my bag, yeah. and then put my bag over there, you've and then look for my pen. Like, what's wrong with me? No, I, you've got a big. It's a big day for you today. I know. I know. So, actually, so, did, did, did Bree get you that bag in Thailand? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bree, did you get me a jumbo topper <laughs> from the airport like I asked oh, for? Yeah. <laughs> Thailand bag? No, that's from Paris. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was that, my wedding no, present. That Chanel spell. <laughs> it's weird, two ends. Channel. <laughs> yes, we want to know your dumb-dumb moments. 30, 24, 10, what have you run into? You're like, ugh, what a dumb-dumb. Well, because, I mean, I don't know who thought this was a good idea because yeah. two police officers have driven their Toyota Camry sedan onto a beach in WA. I, I, I mean, oh. I just, sedans don't go on the sand. Like, if you're four-wheel driving on Fraser Island, cool. Yeah, they're not sedans. <laughs> yeah. Sandans. Yeah, but like a two-wheel drive a sedan. These are the people that, are, that we're supposed to, you know, respect because they're protecting us. 
us. They're yeah. looking after us, but they're getting bogged in the sand. Like, <laughs> yeah. oh, that's a bit tragic. Some holiday Isn't maker it? with kayaks on the roof of his pajeros take yeah, pulling but the police off the sand. How much is that guy like a oh, he's, hero? He's yeah, loving that's his story life. for the rest oh, of his life. life. Oh my god! That time if, he did, <laughs> if he didn't have big D- BDE before, <laughs> he does now. I'm just going to say it outright. <laughs> but isn't it classic Australia too? We're, we're obviously not in Detroit, Michigan, where our police are driving around in Toyota Camrys. Yeah, Toyota but- Camrys. I mean, they're a great car if you, I don't know, or a city I've been city seeing mom. like souped up BMW <laughs> ones that look like they go real fast. I've, I've actually noticed there's, there's no brand loyalty with police cars anymore. No. No, they're just like, whoring oh, it up. Anything they're just like, oh, yeah, we'll go. That one, one might be Hyundai's. Oh, that one. Because <laughs> you know how you have to say Hyundai now? Oh, Hyundai. It's not Hyundai. <laughs> it's Hyundai. It's Hyundai. It's Hyundai. It's it was Hyundai it yesterday. Hyundai. It was Monday today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm uh, on fire today. Um, can we find out? I'm pretty Can you get a Hyundai ad? Um, for because I, yeah, I, I will Americans say Hyundai. Say Hyundai. They saw, Hun- get the Kevin Bacon Hyundai ad. You can't. Well, Americans, Americans say, some say crazy everything shit. weird. Kevin Bacon's in this really cool Hyundai ad with his daughter. <laughs> <Not> Hyundai. <laughs> and it's what? so cool. It's an ED ad or an EV ad, electric vehicle. Oh, not ED. Not ED. ED. No, I don't want to know. Yeah, I don't want Kevin Bacon, Mike Kevin Bacon, to be in an ED ad. I oh, know. No. He's in an EV <laughs> ad. Hyundai. I'm pretty sure it's Hyundai everywhere. That's a bit fun. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? All right. 13, 20, 14, Jump on the phone. Kate, Tim and Joel. Okay, so we've got the Kevin Bacon ad. Ooh. Hyundai. It's not Hyundai. <laughs> I'm saying that's how Hyundai want you to say it now. <laughs> well, I want someone, from, I want Mr. Hyundai to yeah. call up and tell us that that's the case because I just feel like that's something that Americans say because they can't say things properly. Well, he won't know you're calling him because you oh, said his name the, wrong. Someone from Hyundai is on the phone. Or Hyundai. Um, oh, my gosh. Well, really? We, okay, what should we do? <gasps> we speak to Michael or go to Kevin first? Kevin Bacon. <laughs> Let's hear from Kevin Bacon Kevin. first and then hear it from the mm. horse's mouth. You know, While you've been employee. waiting to see if EVs are a thing, my dad went electric. Up to 360 miles on a single charge. Introducing the all-electric Hyundai Ionic 6 <gasps> with up to 360 mile range. Hyundai! Of course he says Hyundai. Hyundai. He's American. That's what well, he's American. Say. They call Craig Craig. Yeah, Craig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Craig. And, there's no, hey, you Craig. Know, and then there's no E in there. There's, they call but they pronounce E in Iron. Oh, you know, yes. Ian Zeering. Ian Zeering. Ian, Ian, I always thought it was weird that they called him Ian. There's no R in his name. Is it Aaron Zeering? What? <laughs> okay, Michael um, from Hyundai is on the line. Hey, Michael. <gasps> Hi, Michael. Michael. Hyundai. Hyundai! <gasps> Hyundai! See? Yeah, well, hang on. Well, 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 firstly, it's just a, what? Oh. It, it's pronounced Hyundai. It always is. It's dropped the I, so it's not Hyundai. It's not Hyundai. It's Hyundai. Hyundai, Hyundai why, like there's a do, Y on the end of it. Why, can we isolate that down? Why, why do Americans say Hyundai then? That's just their twang. Okay, so Michael's not an expert. <laughs> Michael is an expert. He works at Hyundai. What, He's I, been told how to say it. Correct. I run the national BDC for the whole of Australia, so every Hyundai dealership. Yes. I you tell, you oh, tell him, Michael. Michael you tell while him, while I have you on the line. He also says Australia, so. <laughs> Yeah, no, but I thought, Michael, now's probably a good time to talk to you about the King's Coronation, and we'd love oh. to go to London with a sponsor, and maybe oh, Hyundai would like to take us. I'll say it anyway. You, I'll say it any way you want me to. You um, never know. Put a request in. Okay. No, that was it. That, that's, yeah, that's, okay. that's as far as we go. <laughs> we do everything for this show between four and six. Yeah. I know. We're busy. <laughs> yeah, we're busy. It would be easy. Uh, all right. Well, that's I'm Michael. So happy. Thanks, Michael, for clearing that up. That's Michael from Hyundai Ionic Six. It's oh. from Hyundai. Yeah, all right. I, I still say Hyundai, but I was just, uh, you know. I you're like, going like to continue Kevin saying Megan. Hyundai, aren't you? I like it. I like saying Hyundai. Mm. <laughs> it's a bit naughty. Yeah, you're so naughty. <laughs> I'm going to request all my so Ubers be naughty. Hondos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Benji, we're back to Dum Dums. Um, what happened in Queens? Oh, right? in WA. Oh, WA, um, my apologies. Cops dro- drove their sedan, two wheel drive yes. Toyota Camry onto the sand like That's a right. big Dum Dum, yep. and they got stuck and they got bogged. I also love that word. I love the word bogged. bogged. And they when got. Did you get bogged yeah. in your Hyundai. Yeah, bogged. <laughs> when does the last time you got your bogged. Hyundai bogged? Bogged, um, and people had to had to be heroes and and help get the cops out of being bogged, if that's the right way to say it. It's good. Hey, uh, Benji, what's your dumb dumb moment? Uh, so I listen to like uh, the radio while I'm at work, and I'm um, like occasionally yeah. a few podcasts, and I'm the mm-hmm. podcast owner, and um, I called up for it, and it was podcast, so few months old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh that's I listen to our podcast. That is good. All right, Emma, dumb dumb moment. What's yours? Getting my foot stuck in an elevator. 
What? What? How? Yeah, after a night shift, um, I was gas bagging, tired obviously, and went to walk in and the door shut. And it was an old one, so it kept closing. <laughs> oh no, did you get injured? Was it really bad? Oh, just a bruise. No, no, it wasn't too bad. No, no, just had the girls there to free me. <laughs> Keep yeah. bouncing off. I think, I think it's fine to get you. They get quite forceful, those doors, if you really stand in their way. Yeah. yeah. I got my foot, I got strapped <laughs> under a garage door once. <laughs> what? Yeah, when I was working work in Nova, actually, as a Casanova, I realised I'd left something in the Casanova car park, yeah. and I tr- tried to slide under the door matrix style, <laughs> and my f- I got stuck, and we had to get a technician to come and get my foot oh, out. No, it would have been Malcolm. Malcolm is would still Malcolm. there. Malcolm. Uh, he's still here, thank you. I was wondering why Malcolm looks at me like a big dum-dum. <laughs> he's that elevator guy who now tells <laughs> jokes for a living. <laughs> Get into this. This is King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Oh, my favourites. A bit of a song called AstroTurf. It's a real flute. Flute jam in this. Is it um, Yaz flute with a soft J? Yeah. Sounds like something Ron Ron Burgundy would listen to. (laughs) Um, How was your weekend on your Instagram? Oh, amazing nice on my time. Instagram. Did you have a nice time? Oh, how was my weekend on my Instagram? Yeah, I'm specifically saying that this to you, Ricky. Why? Because a few people brought just a couple of your posts to my team. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Big what, weekend of meme posting. Oh, what was yeah. that one on Saturday? Was that directed at someone, like, you know, like a bit of a sag? I, I had this conversation with my sister in the car on the way here today. She was like, who was that about? They're not about anyone. But who was the one? Mm. I, I, I hope see. you learn to prioritise the people who bring you peace. Who was that about? Yeah, who's it's that? I was like, is it me? It's Do you know when you posted that? I was like, did I say something I today? You know, because it's on my oh. phone. That's why I think it's about me. It's not about anyone. I find quotes that I know people are going to engage with. These things are the most popular things on my page. <laughs> I've told you that. People love them, so I keep posting them. So, so true. true. It's like a stand. But don't you? If you actually read it, don't you think that that's true? If you spend, if you spend time with people that make you feel like, oh, of course, you're gonna feel like it. 100%. I read the whole thing and then I panicked, had to breathe into a brown paper bag, have a Valium, and go to bed. And now I've got I a ginormous bunch of flowers at the front desk. <laughs> I know. <laughs> They're actually apology flowers. They're nothing to do with Idol. <laughs> Kate, Tim, and Joel. Let's do wow. this. Wow. <laughs> Open it. This is Read it. Hi, Kate, Tim, and Joel. Mold. Time to check the mailbag. You've got mail. Wow, oh, thank you, Dan. Good little new opener. Yeah. Oh, that, was, that took me by surprise. What's happening here? Oh, what is that? Oh, is that typing? Someone typing? All oh, right. Is that... Is that... Ding. The ding, ding. thing reminds me of Smallsy Show. Oh. Like, you know, Sam Smith tickets. Oh, yes. I like how to type on a typewriter and you have to do that like... Oh, yeah, yeah. Over, yeah. Yeah, yeah, at school. Because I went to school, school in the 1920s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say you're only a few years older than me. And your yeah, dad dropped you, you off on his, on his penny farthing. Yeah. <laughs> we had typing class. So I'm such a good typer because on a typewriter you can't make too many mistakes because you've got to get the whole new paper and all that whole thing. You know? Oh, God. Oh, wow. Oh, typewriter chat. chat. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime yeah. you want to talk about typewriters, <laughs> I'm your girl. Now, um, a lot of people sent me this because Australian Idol's back tonight at 7.30 on Channel 7. Huge. Um, and this is from my favourite show, Family Guy. And this is the the video is how to secure a win at a talent show. <laughs> I'm doing this for my mother, who taught me to sing when I was only seven. She was my biggest inspiration, and she was taken from me when I was 12 in a fatal car accident. She was my rock, my beacon. And this one, this one's for her. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. <laughs> It's, it's so, so true. true. <laughs> sub stories. Are, I know. I know. Are they back? Are we back storing well, tonight? Lots. They're, 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 I don't think 
the sob stories are so they're they're really great singers. Real. Yeah, but right. can they're I, real. They're not play. Is, they don't play on them like some of these shows do. Yeah. Okay. Is there anyone on there that has a great voice who's like, do you know what? My life's been great. I've got tons of money. My parents, <laughs> they're still together. They're madly in love. I've got three kids and I'm loving life. I've just got a belter of a voice. Is oh, there anyone we, like that? I don't think we have any 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 rich hopefuls. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no one's rolling I'm in the really cash. Stable. I'm really stable. Yeah. I'm loving life. Maybe and we I should like to combine sing. your Sad Sack Dog show with the singing show. So we have like the sad do- story, the story about story, the dog. And then you get oh. someone singing My Heart Will Go On at the end. Oh that would God. be amazing. Oh, my God. And then Joel goes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Happily. Or Wolf Down. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Bark Down. Uh, anyway, thank you for it. that, everybody who sent me that. Thank you very much. Um, now, we were talking about uh, Today Years Old because that was our, you know, little segment that we did the other day. Yeah. Well, today is old. Yeah. well, Joel actually said today I was this year's old. <laughs> <laughs> I, st- I was I, this you know years what? old when I found out. <laughs> yeah, right. I know there's not much I struggle with, as you both know. I'm pretty. You're amazing you know, at everything. I'm impenetrable. Yeah, but I what? struggle with the oh, name. I wouldn't. Of- <laughs> <laughs> Are you? I'm impenetrable. <laughs> Sorry. Are you? <laughs> Are you? I reckon you can be penetrated. <laughs> I'm impenetrable. <laughs> I've met a few people. I can. That- <laughs> That was a poor choice of words, Joel Creasy. <laughs> but I always struggle with the name of that segment. Yes. Yeah. Today is old. On the front of a box of shapes. The shape yeah. behind the word shapes yeah. is the shape of the shapes. <gasps> there you go, mind blown. Thank you, Joel. Unreal. It was amazing. Yeah. Mm. I was actually looking at the screen when you were saying that and I thought the pictures of the shapes. I was like, yeah. Of course, idiot. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. And Not then it clicked about background. seven minutes later that you were talking about the shape yeah. behind the word shapes because, yeah. you know. Yeah, that's yeah the shape behind things. the shape, is the shape of the, is the shape of the shapes. Oh, yeah, that's right. It was amazing. God, you're mm. impenetrable, you are. You're just so impenetrable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Ricky, you've got one here from shapes. Oh, yeah, see, see. Didn't even look. I was from just shapes. too busy staring I'm at you like, where are you going with this? You're having such a great time. It's just mates hanging out. Did shapes get in touch? Oh, shapes yeah, have shapes been in touch. touch. They oh, he's got a blue tick. <laughs> yeah, shapes. It's only been like this for 69 years. Uh-oh, you got burned hey, by shapes. Snap. Oh, actually, if shapes are listening right now, and they'd like to take us to the king's coronation. Oh, oh, maybe they would. Shapes. Actually, you know what's mm. more English than tea and a biscuit? Yeah, pizza shapes. Oh, I love pizza <laughs> shapes. Um, we also... You know, Charles loves pizza shapes. <laughs> Kings love chicken crimpies. Well, he might like the fried chicken ones. And Anita has said that she found two shapes flavors where the box does not match the shape. Yeah, they've, but, they've dropped the ball there, shape. Well, no, that's not true because she's sent photos of the fried chicken ones and it is a drumstick, a fried chicken. Yeah. yeah. And but then she's sent. the shape, though. It is. No, oh, no, 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 that's okay. actually a piece Sorry, of Sorry, I'm such chicken. an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be right for tonight at 7.30? I don't know. Yeah. There's too many things going on in my... No, actually, I'm just an idiot. I don't have an excuse. Wow. <laughs> and no. then I was like, look, it's the chili behind. <laughs> Sorry, um, everyone. Chili cheese. Should I see we've myself only, we've out? We've only had two full days of talking about the uh, shapes box. Um, yeah, the shape Joel. behind shapes is the shape of the shapes. <laughs> Um, Don't did, worry, I'll take it from here. We did talk about uh, a certain uh, rock star the other day. Bon Jovi, who, who looks more and more like Dawn Fraser every day. Oh, my they, God, they both, Bon Jovi, look both, at him. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's my life, yeah. and I'm going to bed and bath. <laughs> <laughs> so, as we've decided, Bon Jovi does look like a grandma. An elderly woman, and yeah. An elderly woman. And Nadine got in touch on Instagram and said, another one to add to the John Bon Jovi lookalike collection. Mm-hmm. And Nadine's nailed it. She said, he looks <laughs> yes! like Jamie Lee Curtis. He oh, he does. Does. But Jamie Lee's he got does. a better haircut. She oh, does. Jamie Lee's cool. She, she's got more of a pixie, whereas yeah. John Bon, shall yeah. I call him, <laughs> he's a bit more, you know, he's trying to like cover the fringe and yeah, he's got a cover the forehead. Yeah, yeah, it's a yeah, bit yeah. more helmety. Yeah. A bit more like, was it steel wool? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks a bit wiry, <laughs> doesn't yeah, it? Like, it'd be good to clean the Barbie with John Bon Jovi. <laughs> Tim and Joel. Even after all this time. Forget you, Lewis. I, I love him. Right. No, it doesn't. Oh. I love him so much. Yeah. I, I, he posted a video on, I think it was Instagram today. Mm-hmm. Uh, just like a close-up face video. He's just so funny. He just makes fun of himself. He's in oh, on he's the joke. Charming. I love him. Yeah, he's great. He's good. Love he's him. Guy. He's and my he, favourite. And he smells nice, actually. Does he? Yeah. What does he smell like? 
That's just, the creepiest I, thing you've ever said. Well, I'm kind of also trying to get into funky smells. Ah. But oh. I do remember him particularly what? smelling good. Does he? What is he wearing? Like jupe? Jupe? Yeah, maybe jupe. Jupe. The exclamation mark. Than, um, jupe. Orlando Bloom. Oh God, the, the little stink. Stinky. Oh, Orlando stinky. was stinky as a fashion. Stinky guy. I sat next to him when he was at um, when he was with Miranda Kerr. Yeah. And we'll talk about that soon with the Katy Perry stuff. Weird. Oh wow. Uh. Um, but he was sat <laughs> next to us, and we're like. Oh. I don't think the old crystal is working on your pits. <laughs> oh, maybe that's why Miranda left him. <laughs> Need some chemicals in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, speaking of funky smells, yeah. um, this bloke has gotten on TripAdvisor, right? Now, people that post reviews on TripAdvisor are a real type. My yes. mum quite likes posting TripAdvisor <laughs> reviews, she? for example. Oh, <laughs> mad for it. Really? Uh, yeah, oh, mad for it. She loves giving feedback, unsolicited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As you're learning um, more and more, the longer you I'm stay learning, at home. I've got one more week with them. <laughs> so this guy's gotten on TripAdvisor to complain that the hotel he was staying in in C- Royal Seabank Hotel, it's called, in the UK. I, look, I was going to say, it looks very seaside UK, doesn't it? Yeah, in Blackpool. Oh. Um, it, it actually looks like a fish and chip shop, to be honest. It does honest. look like a fish and chip shop. Yeah, he's complained that it smelt like a nursing home. What does a nursing home smell like? Oh, I think it has a smell, doesn't it? Nursing homes and hospitals. It smell it smells. Of... Yeah. Like, and gravy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah where there's original. Um, yeah, he visited the place and said, what a disgrace this place is. This place needs closing down. This place smells like a nursing home. He then continued saying the place had no heating. It also smelled of paint and was run down. But don't worry. The um, Royal Seabank Hotel in Blackpool, they clapped back. Yes, sister. Royal oh, Seabank. So that's good. I like it when they get a bit sassy back. Yeah. They clapped back and they said, frankly, a lie. <laughs> Boom. Got him. <laughs> frankly, a lie. Right? So they've called him a liar. What? Um, yeah. And the hotel is currently rated four out of five on TripAdvisor. I'd so, go there. Boom. Oh, Dan, you should have got me four out of five by the Arctic Monkeys. Come on, let's see if you can do it. It's Monday. Let's see if you can do it. Done! Oh, he's changed the mailbag mm. opener. He's probably yeah. taking it today. <laughs> I just don't know what I... Yeah. Mm. Oh, nursing home. Some smells. I want to know what that smell is. It's like, 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 don't they clean a lot? Is this the song? Yeah. Oh, get it, Dan. This the exodus. It's all good. Dan just have to Google for these, these songs, or does he have like a little briefcase of things? Because I oh, yeah. quite like to do Dan's job. The briefcase. You could not do it. You oh, would not be love. a Frankie's fan. Oh, oh, I, I reckon one day Dan and I should swap positions. Nope. He's he's a good chat. No, he's my right hand or left hand. I'll get you. Oh, I want to be your right hand. <laughs> I want to be in simpatico with you. We'd never get any work done. <laughs> Tim and Joel. Oh, that gets you up about Joel. Woo! Your favourite artist. Teaming up with Galantis, it's Becky Hill. Can she stop releasing Becky all Hill's the back. hits? <laughs> she never left. I like Becky Hill. I, I like, like Becky her. Hill. There's a song called False Alarm that's my favourite Becky Hill song ever. You have to go listen to it. Her voice is just like money. Oh, she's got a huge back catalogue. Oh. You know, I'll, I'll play you a hook of my favourite Becky Hill song. Okay. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> I get it. You're cool. You oh, listen to Hottest on. 100. Come yeah, on. I know. One. You, you love gotta, Bloom. You've got to have one of us in the group. <laughs> I did troll you both by saying how good was the Hottest 100 on yeah. Saturday. Yeah. You weren't trolling me because I didn't listen. <laughs> no, I know. But I knew Black as well. You know what be. I love? The Hottest 100 of 2002 that Double J played yesterday. Yeah, that's a, oh, I like yeah. that. Yeah, Grinspoon, number two, Chemical Heart, number oh. one, No One Knows, Queens of the Stone Age. No, like but, Beyonce, Crazy oh in Love, God. none of that? No, nah. and also, oh. uh, you know, that shows you that our generation slash my generation are the supreme music tastemakers. Oh, <laughs> shut <laughs> up. It's time for this. You are. On screen. On screen. <laughs> Lots happening in the world of glossies. Let's kick it off with this oh. man. We're going to see him soon. Harry oh. Styles. I think is this... I think so. I reckon he will. I um, actually asked them to ask the question, not for quick draw, but just to see if he wants to pop in for a chat. He's in, he's in town for ages. Come on, Harry. Come on. We're the calibre of place. guests we get on this show, for, uh, you know, not to be braggadocious, but we are the national number one show. And then some of our guests, I'm like, are you kidding me? So maybe we could get Harry Styles. Come okay. on, Harry. Anyway. 
Let's try anyway. a good start to the year. What's happened? Is this? I um, think is this the the pants splitting on stage in LA? Oh, well, not really, because that's old news. But oh, this afternoon he was he. Yeah, oh, that's a bit snappy well, today. <laughs> there, 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 these aren't the glossies <laughs> from the dentist's waiting room. <laughs> uh, but no, I it's glossies that he uh, has been announced as a performer this afternoon at the Grammys next Monday. That's huge, uh, along with oh. Mary J. Blige, Lizzo, and Sam Smith. But he's also been announced. Um, Potentially to be part of a Las Vegas residency to not earn fifty-six million dollars for the deal. Not yet. He's too young to do a Vegas residency. Nominated for six Grammys, including Album of the Year as well, Song of the Year. So he's going to clean up. He's so he's amazing. I love him. Yeah. Especially pop now, up. after seeing him with his pants pop open, I love him even oh, more. Yeah. Well, what did you say? Did you see much? Yeah, I've watched it from like fifty-seven thousand angles. What his grey underpants, oh, and he so. like c- tries to cover it up straight away, and he looks down at it, and he's he gets quite cross. Let's. Isn't it amazing that. that he wears underpants just like us? I know. Oh, I know. You know. Like I wear, I'm wearing underpants so now. I just I know think you are. He, he chose to wear grey ones though. I just think that's a bit. I like grey underpants. Really though. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah, really. I'm so just, say, ask me like, again. Why not black? I, do, I have heaps of black. But, like stacks and, of the, black. and do you wear white ones? I have a white pair. Oh, see, I feel like that's dangerous. <laughs> Only <for> really, dangerous. <laughs> really special occasions. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know where I'm not doing much. <laughs> we well, <you> haven't eaten. <laughs> yeah, for weeks. <laughs> oh. uh, next glossy, please. What's happening Okay. Here? Oh, well, is this that Katie, is Katy Perry. Perry at the G'day... G'day LA. LA. Fitzy Whipper there at the moment. They're, they're live from LA next, I believe, after six. Yes, and I was watching Fitz in with his social media, their Insta stories, and Katy Perry walked straight past them. Yeah. Oh, so funny. <laughs> it was very funny. So but she was there funny. to present Miranda Kerr with an award, and is she Miranda Kerr's son's stepmom? Yes. Wow. What's Lucky Miranda kid, Kerr winning eh? an award for? Yeah, what did she win um, for? Was uh, it for uh, Cora? Uh, for Arts. Also, yeah, it was for art. Oh, like, no, like, um, she's a lovely lady, but I she don't is. really she's know so what Miranda Kerr does. What she's got that um, that skincare range, Cora. Heard of it? She's winning an arts award for it. <laughs> um, I, it fits in with right she here. She should be so wearing an award say, for can, that dress because that is amazing. I, I can say this because it fits in with right here, but what's good day LA? And does LA <laughs> care? <laughs> Can There's I, a lot okay. of Aussies There's a lot in of LA. Us flying there for There's a function. There's a lot of Aussies in LA. And we could have just had the function here. True. It Good seems, day. It's 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 it looks very um, wanky. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Like but, Sam, Sam Worthington was here last week, and so what like we've flown out and have another interview with him. It's always the same crowd as well at Good Day LA. Yeah. Like you don't hear from them all year, but they're at Good Day LA. Um, but Fitzy Whip will be sensational at it, no doubt. Well, that, it's, who wouldn't want to go to LA? I know. Um, I Why did we do Good Day LA? Yeah. I, I, next year I'd love Good Day LA. Uh, <laughs> not, not this year, but you'd love Fitzy's it. Fitzy's in my favourite store, store in LA. Which one? Amoeba Records. Oh. Oh, my God. Where it's is that? It's huge. It's out, it's out of Hollywood a little bit, mm-hmm. but it's cool. Cool. It's anyway, cool, I can't wait to hear Fitzy and Whipple like, fly from Good LA <laughs> after yeah, 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 just, yeah. <laughs> Look at this video that I, th- I saw this on, I think this is on Whipper's story. Um, right. Delta's up on stage. She was doing, um, I think this is, they were singing A Still Call Australia Home and yeah. Miranda Kerr's up on the stage, Sam Worthington, Katy Perry's up there and she's <sighs> holding on to Katy Perry's hand for dear life. She's like singing, don't let go. Well, well, Katie's, <laughs> at- Katie's in between Paul Hogan and Delta. He, she doesn't know where to go. Well, Katie doesn't Katie? call Australia home because no. she's not from here. Like, what? No, she Why calls she Menu Log home. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah, that's oh true. Oh, my God, she... but Delta. Look Margarita Delta pizza dress. with extra cheese on it. That's yeah, that is. I saw, I've been to a nightclub <laughs> and they played that song. <laughs> no, and it they went don't. Off. Oh, they really? do. Yeah. Um, really quick, two more glossies, real quick. What's okay. happening here? <gasps> um, Eddie, oh, Murphy Eddie Murphy wants there to be, that wants Donkey to have its own. Yeah. Film yep. in the Shrek Perfect. franchise thing, right? That's right. Yeah. And I saw you people over the weekend. Oh, it's so good, isn't it? Well, the first half is. I and know. And then the second half is cornfest.com. I, I, I sent you guys the message and I was only halfway through. You, and then as soon as I early. sent the text, oh, no, I was like, I'm no. halfway through. Oh, the last just half don't watch sucks. Anymore. Just, oh, I love Julie Louis Dreyfus. Same. Yeah, yeah, She's so the good. The last half is just like, oh my God, is this like a Hallmark movie now? Yeah. What's happening? Oh, really? No, it really turned. It got okay. bad. Yeah. But just I'll stick with it. it. Stick with it. Yeah, it's, it's something to do, isn't it? Yeah. And next, lastly, what's happening? <gasps> oh, um, this is the Spice Girls. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much.
and um, I think they are uh, casting the Spice Girls for the new Crown season, or they've cast the Spice Girls. No, this is. I think I read this on the way through. They they want the Spice Girls to get back together for the coronation (gasps) for the king. Are you serious? Yes. Oh, oh my amazing. god, get that bloke from Hyundai back on the phone. Yeah. I'll do a better sell. We need to be there. What's yeah. happening with you and all your stories? A couple of days old over there in WA. In WA, <laughs> Rock DJ is number one here at the moment. <laughs> Everybody Nova's free for 23. Yeah, let's put this in perspective, okay? This is $52,000. I didn't have to go okay. to math school to work that out. $1,000 a week for a year. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it is Nova's free for 23. It's massive. Thanks to Liberty, of course. Loans for free thinkers get ahead in 2023 and free think your dream home, your car or holiday with Liberty today. Eligibility and conditions apply. We're making the call. This uh, is you, huge. You get on the Nervous. air. You can register on the Nova Player app. You can do both. This okay. is our first giveaway for the year. This is I'm, I get nervous, so maybe you should. You this know, is big. I'll, I'll hit off, it, no, well, I'll hit the phone, and then He's we'll make say it a, a team effort. I'll oh, work it out. Here we go. Here we go. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Though seriously. Shut up. No, you shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Press the button. <laughs> shut your face. Shut your face. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hi, is that the mid? Yes, sir. Oh, hi, it is uh, Tim Blackwell, Joel Creasy and Ricky Lee here from Nova. How are you? Sir, how are you? Really good. Oh, Bob, what have you been up to today? Still busy. I'm doing my work today. Oh, yeah. How you been? I'm good, sir. How are you, sir? Very good. Now, you've entered a competition here on Nova. Do you know that? Yes, sir. Yeah, it's Nova's free for 23. And we, well, Joel actually is fanging to uh, give you the good news. I'm desperate to let you know that you've won! Thank you. $1,000 in your bank every week for the whole year. Spend on whatever you want to bid. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. This, is, you... this is not a scam. No. This is real. Yeah, this real. is real. What are you going to spend the money on? I don't know. I have no idea. You, you better no get idea. thinking. Yeah. Are you, oh. are you at work at the moment? I have to admit, you don't sound like you're I'm, very surprised. I'm, I'm still working, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do you do for work? I'm working laundry. Oh, yeah. All right. All right, right. But what would you spend your first thousand bucks on? Like, I understand that a whole year's worth is, you know, but, you know, your first thousand for the thousand first week. Thousand dollars a week. Thank you. Oh, my God, that's unbelievable. <laughs> it is pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Congratulations, so mate. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, please, guys. Please stay on the line. We need to get your details. Don't go anywhere to Ben. Absolutely. Congratulations, to Ben. Enjoy. You. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for making my year beautiful. Oh, oh you're very so welcome. <laughs> and I'm really good. I've never been called Sir so you're much. Sir, no, Sir so Tim. I win every time. Our most polite winner ever. <laughs> Kate, Tim, and Joel. Just like that. That Kate, is you guys a prize and a great. Hey, right. Thank, we we really kind of held that together. I think we really did. We were the glue. Well, I, I, hmm. I you were the Nabin, what's glue stick. Nabin was quite. quite um, <laughs> It was like he was shocked. He was in shock. He wasn't reckon, yeah. as enthusiastic as Joel and I. We were really fishing for the energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you guys are performers. That's we're performers. why. performers. You know, then people yeah. like me and, and, uh, and Nabeen are a bit more like... Just subdued and quiet. Like laid back. Yeah. No, yeah, we, we want a yelling celebration, don't we, Joel? I'm totally shy. Yeah. You're so I want, shy. I want tears... Yeah. And, you know, Even if I'll they're fake, that we just hoo-ha. want them. Would you yeah, have crocodile this, tears are fine. Yeah. Would you like a confetti <laughs> cannon? Yes. Ah, uh, You great. better believe oh I would. Yeah. Well, you got one? you say that, but you wouldn't like it in the way this DJ in Brazil's had it. Oh. Her name's, oh, see, what did you see? How he handballed it to me and then I ran to the goalpost. We didn't even it. look at each other oh. for it. It's just I know. Like it's like you guys have been doing this cents. for years. Yeah. I know. Yep. Um, a DJ named Flavina. She fabulous Flavina. She had a confetti cannon, right? So she's on stage in Brazil. She's performing. Mm. She's doing her thing. Giving all the energy. She's giving all the energy. Giving. (laughs) She's slaying. You might. What we wanted from the bin. Yeah. 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 Imagine her winning the fifty-two grand. (laughs) Yes. If if Flavina could enter our next competition, that would be ideal. (laughs) So she's got her confetti cannon. She's about to shoot into the crowd. She's got a big turnout. Mm. But she's got the confetti cannon around the wrong way. No, she doesn't. Oh, my God! And she shoots herself in the face. (laughs) 
so she sets the confetti cannon off right into her face. Oh right, so she, she runs off stage. Yeah. Mm. How did she but not she... know that she had it out the wrong way? Well, I guess she's oh, lost in the moment. Person. She's got her hand on like the trigger, like as far away as humanly possible. I know. She. I mean, uh, silly her, but also I. You know, she's paid the cost. Um. So she. She tried to finish her <laughs> what, set. She, she what? Paid, paid, she's no. paid the cost. <laughs> What's your new job? Oh, she just paid the cost. Oh, oh yeah, that's good. Okay, that's not correct. <laughs> I, I, was actually, you know I, mean. I was actually at the supermarket the other day and just paid the cost. <laughs> and then left. Paid the price. I mean, she's paid the price. Which is weird it's the same pay, pay the cost is actually... Like, literally the same definition, but it's just... I know, but it sounds ridiculous. So when Ricky used to say one word and change it from from sayings... Yeah. (laughs) They get mixed up in my head. And the club can't even handle her. (laughs) (laughs) I've only ever met one person worse with a glitter cannon. Look at that. Who? She really messed up Yeah, she's okay, by the way. She tried to finish her set, but she's... um, Anyway, she put it on TikTok, so she's good. Gushing from the neck. Yeah, I've only ever met one person worse with a glitter cannon. That's Nate Ryan, who works here. Who oh, really? used to come into the studio for, like, say, for instance, for big giveaways, like Nova's Free for 23, for instance. <laughs> He'd come in and let it off, but he either let it off a couple of seconds too early, or where this oh, is a new mate. roof now, but it had a big hole in the roof in one of our giveaways. I know we've got a giveaway when I say his RM Williams coming down the corridor. <laughs> Tim and Joel. It's been Monday, AF. TGIF. You can fight the disco. Stick a fork in me, I'm done. You! Thank God, it's Monday. Do you remember this Brisbane band from the early 2000s, 2010? From when? 2010, this song came out, I think. Cloud Control? No. Oh, yeah, I remember Cloud Control. I love Cloud Control. I don't... I know this won't surprise you, but I don't. No, no, no. They're just I don't, underrated. I don't know it's who underrated. they are, but this is great. It's not underrated because that's rude, but I just don't think enough people know about them, you know? Um, anyway, we're talking clouds. I love clouds. Because Shano sent us this. Um, CNN, um, have, I've called this a UFO shaped phenomenon called a lens cloud. Ooh. Brought the attention of onlookers in Turkey. Well, Turkey indeed. <laughs> Are we having a look at this cloud on the screen at all so the guys can see it, or am I just talking about it? Just keep squeeze. talking. I like hearing you talk about it. Because it is a cloud that could, well, I mean, look, some kind of... Oh! Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it looks like a... It an looks, an it looks eyeball, familiar. eyeball or a pastitsi. You know what it looks I'll like? Tell you what I it looks stuffed, like. I stuffed some dates yesterday, and I mean medjool dates. What does dates. that mean? No, I actually stuffed some dates. I did. I put some. I'm trying to lose some weight, so I. I'm, but I love Snickers, so I. I stuffed some um, dates with peanut butter and walnuts and dipped them in chocolate. How many? How many did worse. you eat? About five. About five. I didn't think you're yeah. supposed to eat while you were stuffing dates. <laughs> <laughs> but that's kind of it's what rude, that isn't cloud it? looks that, like. That's considered dates. rude. Isn't that rude? Yeah, that cloud. That <laughs> disinterested. That yeah. almost looks like it should be in my junk corner. Oh, I quite like it. <laughs> Thank you for sending that through, Shane. Kate, Tim and Joel. Do you reckon there's, is there like a, like a, have you found the next guy, Sebastian? Next guy, Sebastian. Well, you know we what have, I mean, We Mark. have, I would, there is one person in particular that I think is like out of this world talented and will have oh. a massive, massive career. I told, a, and I told you I'm, I, w- I refuse to audition. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> Yep, you're going to Sydney. Uh, yeah, you know we weren't like we weren't saying you're going to Sydney this time. It was what? you're going to the top fifty. But like there was like iconic Australian idol. You're going to Sydney. Yeah, yes. I love that. I love going to Sydney. But it just wasn't exciting for the people going to Sydney well, that are from, from Sydney. Sydney. Well, if you're in Rudy Hill, it might yeah, be true. You're going to yeah. Sydney. You go to Sydney seriously? <laughs> been there for months. Darling Harbour, the ICC. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is 7.30 uh, tonight on Channel 7. Um, now, let's talk about really? IMS. Now, don't be too rude here. Oh, I am, I am wearing my white pants. I don't think the IMS part is the rude part of this story. I saw this story and I got very excited because clearly it's right up my alley because yeah. the headline mm. says, Man Solo's Whole Banana Wrapped in Condom. Mm. Of course, yeah. it piqued my oh, interest. Oh, my Lord. It doesn't look banana. like a banana in there. But the guy said that he... I don't know why he did it, really. But he said that he um, d- he did it in a fit of hormonal rage, which isn't something that you you know generally hear a man say. It's no. more something that a woman would say, and that's not being sexist. It's just, you know, we all do weird things. Well, we don't really talk about PMS. our hormones. No, you don't talk about your hormones. 
But this guy had to have, mm. it was apparently kind of touch and go, so he had to have life-saving surgery to remove oh, yeah. this massive thing from he his stomach it? cavity. He swallowed it. Wow, okay. Yeah. So um, he was in a mood and he so was he like, was I'm going to wrap a banana in a condom yeah. and swallow it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know okay. how those two things go together, but let's just... You know, we'll go with it. Trust. Can we ask what maybe the a guy said? If people want to call up, have you done anything in the hormonal rage, male or female? What, have you done anything crazy in a hormonal rage? Yeah, thirteen twenty four. Some things in a rage, but I, they're never hormonal related. But maybe now that I think of it, they are. Well, because there is a there is a condition that is something that men between generally forty and sixty. Mm-hmm. This is something okay, that so medical Tim, experts are starting to talk about. So, Tim, this is I'm I'm looking <laughs> right at you. For this <laughs> oh, one. I can tell that. Yeah, all right. <laughs> and the condition is called IMS. Oh yeah, oh, he's got it. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Irritable man syndrome. Oh, does he what? <laughs> I do not. You have stage five IMS. <laughs> that is, you're does doing you? that to make me. Angry. I'm flaring okay. up your IMS well, right now. Can I can I go through some of the symptoms and we can see if one Tim Blackwell has oh, well, this yes, IMS? Yes, please, okay. this is awesome. This is okay. Great some Monday. of the symptoms for IMS, irritable man syndrome, include feelings of being angry. No. Uh, impatient. Give me. The, yep. I need a ding. I'm impatient. I, I am impatient. <laughs> Sarcastic. You've got ants in your pants. Sarcastic? I'm not that sarcastic. Oh, g- give me a oh. ding. You are the most sarcastic <laughs> person on earth. Anxious? No. Tense? No. Hostile? I don't think so. Argumentative? Mm. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, don't you all nod in there like a <laughs> You're not tense. Goddess. You're not, no, not tense, tense or anxious. Um, no. Unloving? Oh, no, that's not mm. true. You're very loving. Yeah. Frustrated? Oh, yes. With, withdrawn? No. No. <laughs> Demanding? Oh, my God. What's well, bigger than a ding? Well, if, What's bigger if, than if a I ding? wasn't, you guys would get nothing in here either. Like, I, I am demanding oh, on, oh, oh, on oh, behalf. Hang on, hang on. The next one, defensive. Oh. <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> you got him. <laughs> <laughs> and dissatisfied, which generally is your vibe about everything when you come in here. <laughs> yeah, everything ever. <laughs> you're dissatisfied with life. Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> no, you actually are quite perky. I am very po- positive, you, you know? Yeah, but I do think you are... <laughs> You, you can be irritable at okay, times. You can be IMSy, I guess. It's a real thing. <laughs> IMSy. I'm, I'm certainly not messy. No, IMS. Never. You. The man version of PMS. Oh, okay. Get your hormones in check. Do you know how to make a hormone? Kate, Tim and Joel. I swear, if this was an Australian Idol audition song, I would I wouldn't turn my chair. Well, lucky you're not a judge because you don't I turn don't. a turn. <laughs> Who sings this again? It's so Stephen Sanchez. And oh, mate, M- Sanchez. Oh my god, it's a beautiful song. Or do we need a reality check? Uh, <laughs> reality check. <laughs> it's uh, look. I'm sure it's a beautiful song. It's a beautiful song. Is it 5:48 on a Monday? Getting people up and about after a big day at work? No. I choose to put it on. I just like Inter. it. <laughs> I thought you do the music. Yeah. Oh. Um, but don't you think I'd love to like you know have a little slow dance and a little cheeky kiss? Yeah, maybe. At the end of the song. Oh, look, I'm sure there are people that absolutely love it. What do Anyone? I? Anyone? Yeah, it is a it is a song to slow dance and, and have a pash too. Yeah, I'd love a pash. It's go off song. at the school disco. <laughs> it's a song to go out and have a smoke when it's on. And I don't even smoke. <laughs> <laughs> take it up. I'll take it up. Whenever that song's on, I take up smoking. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're going to get to mistaken identity in a second, but I just want to throw this in because we have had a big day talking Hyundai. Oh, Hyundai. Um, and uh, <laughs> I saw the Kevin Bacon ad where Americans say Hyundai instead of Hyundai. Hyundai Ionic 6. Right. And then yeah. we had Michael from Hyundai. Uh, Australia, who called us, and uh, he gave us his version. Well, the version. His version. The version. His version. It's pronounced Hyundai. It always is. It's drop the I, so it's not Hyundai. It's not Hyundai. It's Hyundai. <laughs> so right. specific. I love him. All right, good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, then Jason sent me through um, some family guy. Okay. <laughs> Have a listen okay. to this. Oh, oh, quiet, everybody. My commercial's on. Hi, I'm Peter Griffin of the New England Patriots. I'm here to kick off the Touchdown of Savings Weekend at Wilkins Hyundai and Subaru. 
We will blitz the competition, and in no time, you'll be driving your new Hyundai or Subaru right to a touchdown. <laughs> At Wilkins Hyundai and Subaru, we have Hyundais and Subarus. Oh, it's a real American uh, thing, then, saying Hyundai. Well, you know, they, they also say Nissan. Oh, careful. The Nissan? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do. Oh. <laughs> God, you scared me. <laughs> I would never. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, what did you do today? I lost my job. Kate, Tim, and Joel. The Savo on Nova. It's where you wrap up a Monday show. You know, big, big Monday here on Nova. Giveaways. Chrissy Swan huge. started. You know, it's oh, huge. I know the whole. We're the not whole started, team's but back on a new air. show. You know. Yeah, exactly yeah. right. The whole team is finally back. Our producer's back from Thailand. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. And Bri- <laughs> Brian's back. Brian's yes. back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, go oh, hey. Hey, Brian. Welcome back. Go put some stuff on those sand fly bites, though, really. I know. Yeah. Oh, she looks gorgeous as ever. Oh. Yeah. Sun kissed and glowing. Yeah, zoom in on that. I want to see real close up. Oh, she bought Ricky a handbag back from Bangkok. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. What was it? I know. 50 Did you get me those DVDs, Brian? Oh, yeah, the Die Hard That's... DVDs. Thank you for oh, those. Die Hard and Sex in the City. I got the trilogy. <laughs> the she, got you fa- she got you the Family Guy box set. Did she? Did yeah. she? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Bree. Um, let's do a little mistaken identity to finish off. Yeah, this is fun. Yeah. Is this my story? Yeah, if you want to do it. I mean... I don't know what time well, it says in Perth. Why you say mistaken? I- oh, yeah. No, no, no. I get it. I get it. I get it. Are you saying okay. that I've done my job wrong? No, no, I... Because I didn't want to give the headline of the story because that just basically gives you the story. No, yeah, no, you did a very good job. Thank you. In fact, it was so subtle, I didn't notice it was my story. <laughs> I love how you look behind you like a stage you manager like, might what? help you out. Like, oh, no, well, because I'm in Perth, Ross is still on air behind me. Like, Chrissy Swan's show hasn't even started. Are you I think serious? Breakfast show has started <laughs> yet. Um, right. Now, a Texas woman named Elaine White, she was forced to put oh, signs okay. outside her home to ward off a continuous stream of men who thought her place was a brothel. Why? Oh, no. She said men started appearing a year ago asking for Nikki, mm-hmm. Kelly or Rhonda. <laughs> oh, Rhonda. Oh, I love Rhonda. So, Elaine, she's 66, and she reckons about 25 men have come to her house in hopes of finding a session with... Nikki Kelly or Rhonda. And what, she's not invited even one of them in? You know, not one of them. She, In fact, she was so irrestra... Irres, ir- <laughs> she was so... Ir- <laughs> oh, my God. She Are you blaming so- this because you're in Perth as well? Yeah, it's delay. You'll get it in a second. She was so... Ir- oh! She was so irritated! Yes. Right. She was so irritated and frustrated yes. by the situation <laughs> that she put up signs saying, Kelly does not live here. Oh, God, that's a great way to, to deal with it. I mean, yeah, she, you got him, Elaine. Nice sign. Is that plywood? I mean, she looks like a good time girl, Elaine. Yeah. Well, that, well she's had good times, fringe. certainly. Police reckon that she could be a victim of an online scam linked to a massage website. Oh. Mm. What does that mean? Like a massage website. As in? Like a, what do you mean? Like, not a, like a massage? Like not a, it's, like a massage. it's like when you leave, you're not sad. Yeah. Like a massage. Where like the, at the end, it's woo-hoo. happy. At the end. Do you know what I mean? You have a, you have a, you have a you really mean. good time. Yeah, like relax. It's like happy. No, like you're, you're really happy. Yeah. yeah. Like, like at, the, at the end. Yeah. You're really happy. Right. Like you want a good time, come <laughs> over here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, <laughs> hey, ring doorbells at your own risk, I say. Love this song. I oh, know. Uh, we'll be watching you tonight, 7.30 on Channel 7. Australian Idol will turn. We cannot wait. Oh. <laughs> I cannot wait. I'm You'll so get my pre- You'll get my presents um, uh, like tomorrow. It's in the mail, right? Yeah, yeah sure. Kate, Tim and Joel is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.